Hey guys, Andy here. Now, on October 26th will be a um, release date of, well, the anniversary of a release date of two games. G uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and Red Dead Redemption 2. In fact, I got a physical copy of RDR2 in my collection. There it is, right there. Red Dead Redemption 2. I got this game way back in 2020. And I still love it. Now, it'll be six years to the day when RDR 2 came out. I think it was like in late 2018 when this game came out. And I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube about it. Mostly from this YouTuber called All The Shinies. He um, he he did a a, a walkthrough of, the, of of the game. Let me look him up on YouTube real quick. Let's see. Oh. Hang on. Yep, it's right here. He's done two hundred and forty videos of that. 240, holy crap, man. It's incredible. Now, when I first played the uh, game, I said, what? But, every single time I play it, I get, well, <laughs> I know the lore of the game, I know the, all the characters, everything. I'm doing more in the game than I did in my, in my first playthrough. Right now, I'm my on my third playthrough so far. It's quite nice. Now, given it's been well, not given it's six years of uh, life as a game. It does rival GTA V though because I've seen the trailer. I think I didn't see the trailer of this game. Well, in fact, I like I I saw the trailer of it way back in April 2018. Let me check. When did are your when see Red Dead were Redemption 2 trailer. No. Yep, RDR 2. The first trailer was way back in October 2016, but I saw the second official trailer. No, yeah, I think. Hold on, I think I saw the third official trailer on YouTube. That was way back on May second, uh, twenty eighteen. Just a few, a few, a few months before the game's release. Yeah, I was in high school when that, when those, when that trailer came out. I was in. It was my senior year of high school when that day um, tr on the on the trailer came out. As of me recording this, thirty nine million views. I mean, it's incredible, man. It's incredible, and this will go down to history as one of the best, one of the best of video games of all time. Well, mostly GTA V, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and all the other games. Tim's gonna take a picture of this. Hang on one sec. Now, the second game is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. At least back all the way back in t in, 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 in 2004. Now, I turned uh, five years old when GTA San Andreas came out, and it's like the most popular game on the PS2. Yeah, this was released way back on the way back on the PS2. It's 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 best on it's best on console of all time, but Grand Theft Auto San Andreas on the PS2, it's the most known game of all time on the PS2. Yep, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto 6. Yep, San Andreas. And to me, I prefer the original version of the game rather than the definitive edition. And I know. It's split, but 
the original version of it, it's better. Well, I've, I'll have a, a digital copy of it on my Xbox One. It's better. It's better compatible. This was when did you to San Andreas for October yeah, 26, 2004? Yeah. Uh, hang on, Wikipedia. Yep, Red Dead Redemption. Let's see, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Yeah, this was released on the PS2. Mostly the PS2, then Windows, then the original Xbox, then the 360, then the PS3. It's incredible that these two games in my collection, it's like, it's like the highlights of, of my collection. And given these two games, one of them is 20 years old, the other one is 6 years old. Now, mind you, I, I didn't have I didn't have a console back then, and I remember when I first played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I said, "Here we go, another another GTA game." The first Grand Theft first GTA game I ever played was GTA GTA Five. I got it way back on December. I think it was like Christmas 2015. When I first played it, and I remember back in 2014. Sorry, I'm going on tangent here, but bear with me. I was visiting my dad way back in 2014, and one of his neighbors, he had, he had a copy of GTA 5 on the 360, and me playing that for the first time, I got a taste of that, but I wanted more of it. It's a good thing I I got it for Christmas, but I'm back in 2015. I don't play it as much now, but I might play it. I might. I might play it at some point in the future. I got two versions of the game. One of them is on the three. Is on the 360, and the other one is on Xbox One. I got the. Um, yeah, I got the Xbox One version of GTA 5. Yeah, I convinced my dad to uh, to uh, buy it. Mind you, it's only 18 years old. <laughs> it's a rated game. I have a lot of a lot of rated games. Mostly GTA 5, GTA San Andreas, and Red, Dead, and Red Dead Redemption 2, among others. So anyway, both these games, oh, both these games, man, both these games. It's well, at some point, it's it goes down in history is one is two of the best games of all time, because GTA San Andreas has some. Like RPG aspects, like um, like the uh, CJ and drinking something at a bar or going to the gym, lifting weights. It's so interactive, even RDR two. It's so interactive. You can, you, yeah, you hunt, you kill people, you steal money. That's the point of that. But the missions in both games, even. RDR, RDR2, like, Mr. towards the end of the main storyline. It's just incredible. Even, like, the final mission, American Venom, where you can confront Micah. It's just so incredible. Even the events in GT San Andreas, like, racing, for example, right? Yeah. Flying, racing. It's just incredible. Even the characters in in in, uh, in both games, like the characters in RDR two, the characters in Jesus San Andreas, they're just incredible, detailed even. And I hope we get a Red Dead Redemption three and a GTA six sometime in the future, because I think kids these days wanna uh, wouldn't understand that. We had to and to write down our cheat codes. Even a few friends of mine in, in, in middle school, like in science class, were um, our well, one of the teachers we talked about the on the on the on the, the uh, San Andreas fault. They said, "Oh my God, teacher San Andreas." <laughs> yeah, we were. Oh man, middle school. Yeah, we were. 
Yeah, middle school, we and we talked about nothing but GTA San Andreas. Yeah, I think we weren't old enough to buy GTA San Andreas because it was an M rated game. I was like only like 12, 13 years old at the time. Yeah, I never played GTA San Andreas before. Um, but now, thanks to uh, Bounce Compatibility. Oh, by the way, um. Uh, GTA San Andreas was delisted from the uh, Xbox Game Store a while back. So if you have a physical copy of, of it, it's backwards, it's backwards compatible. Yeah, it says it right here. Yeah, well, it's not currently a, it's, it's, it's not currently available. Good thing I, good thing yeah, it's good it's good thing I got it. So anyway, happy 20th anniversary to GTA uh, San Andreas and happy 6th anniversary to Red Dead Redemption 2. Sorry about my uh, rambling there, guys, but. But I gave it, I gave it these two games massive praise here because these two games, kids will understand these days about driving around San Andreas, running people over, shooting people. Yeah, I'm pretty sure kids these days have uh, mobile games while us gamers. Have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Red Dead Redemption 2, and all these games on consoles. So anyway, I'll be doing some gameplay for both RDR2 and GTA San Andreas on Saturday, October 26th. Wait, yep. Yeah, and tomorrow, tomorrow's Fourth Dawn Day, so I'll be playing some Forza Horizon 5 tomorrow. I might play some, I might play some RDR2 in a minute. Because before I know it, I'll be on my 4th playthrough, then my 5th, and 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth. Jeez, the game, yeah, both games get better and better once you play it more and more. Believe me, it's just incredible. That's it. That's it, guys. I gotta go. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.